Bombs have exploded in three districts of the Syrian capital Damascus killing and wounding dozens. Gunmen have also shot dead the brother of the parliament speaker in the latest rebel attack on a figure associated with the ruling elite. The opposition said at least 100 more people were killed elsewhere in a civil war. Syrian state media said at least 10 people were killed and 30 wounded by an explosion in the High Al Wuraud district in the northwest of the capital. The hilltop neighborhood is situated near the barracks and housing for elite army units, and is home to members of a Sadzbalaite sect, an offshoot of Shiite Islam. Syria's rebellion in is drawn mainly from the Sunni Muslim majority. Opposition and activists said three explosions were heard in High Al Wuraud and at least 15 people killed. The car bomb also detonated near a shopping mall in the mixed neighborhood of IBN All Navies, killing and injuring several people, they said. On Tuesday evening, activists reported another car bombing, this time near a mosque in the Sunni working class district of Al Qadam in South Damascus, causing dozens more casualties. Buildings were damaged and bodies buried under debris that clogged the streets, the activists told Reuters. Lots of people were hit inside their apartments. Rescue efforts are hampered because electricity was cut off right after the explosion, said Adu Hamza al -Shami. There is a state hospital nearby but we are afraid to take the wounded there because they could be liquidated. Bomb attacks along sectarian lines have escalated in the 19-month-old anti-Assad uprising. Last month several bombs went off during the Muslim Eid holiday near mosques in Sunnah districts and the Damascus suburbs, killing and injuring dozens. Officials and their families are increasingly being targeted by assassins as violence spreads in the capital. Victims have included parliamentarians, ruling Ba'ath Party officials, and even actors and doctors seen as a sad supporters. State television said gunmen had assassinated Mohammed Bosam al layam brother of the Speaker of Parliament, in Damascus's Midden district. No group claimed immediate responsibility. Peace envoy Lajar Brahimid warned that Syria where some 32,000 people have died in the upheaval, could end up a collapsed state like Somalia, prey to warlords and militias. More than 100 people were killed across the country on Tuesday, said the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, the pro-opposition body based in Britain that compiles activist reports. Their strikes killed 17 people, including women and children, in the Damascus suburb of Kfar Batna, it said. Video footage of the raids after Met posted on the internet which could not be verified, showed a toddler with a severed head and the torso of a young man, his head and limbs gathered near him by rescuers. Insurgents killed 12 soldiers and wounded 20 in an attack on a convoy of off-road vehicles in the northern province of Idlib. 